kung gaano siya karami sina search yan so 100 searches wala 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 Hi guys! In this video, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano kayo makakagawa ng online business. Hi guys! Tony here and I am here to teach you everything you need to know about money. Money hacks, money tricks, tips, investing, saving, lahat ng alam ko ituturo ko sa inyo. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and the like button and yung doorbell sign dyan para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos ko. Online shops or e-commerce stores are parang nauuso na ngayon. Nakikita nyo siya sa Facebook, nakikita nyo siya sa Instagram. Bakit? Kasi una, andali niyang gawin. Sunod, ang niit lang ng budget na kailangan mo para mag-start. Third, it's very, very convenient. Kahit saan ka magpunta, pwede mong asikasuhin yung business mo. Pero syempre, sa sobrang dali niyang gawin, napakarami ding online sellers ngayon sa Facebook and Instagram and kung saan saan man. Ang struggle natin ngayon is how to make yourself better than everybody else and how can you stand out sa dami-dami nila. So later on, I'll teach you kung paano gumawa ng effective business. Hindi lang yung basta-basta lang. Siyempre, sa una madali lang. Pero how would you maintain it? How to find suppliers? how to do the marketing, and everything else. So, hindi lang po ito uh, magiging one-part video kasi masyadong maliit yung oras para i-explain lahat. So, I'll be cutting this video into tiny bits of pieces. There will be links that will be popping out once in a while. Yun yung magkoconnect sa video na to. Okay? First thing to keep in mind before you start your business is find your niche. What is a niche? Yung niche is yung specific market na gusto mong i-target. Wow, well, right? Um, kasi kapag general or generic products lang, yung tipong nakikita mo siya lagi sa feed mo na, op, siya nagbibenta ng keychain, op, siya din nagbibenta ng keychain. Pag mas madali mo siyang mahanap, mas competitive yung space na yun. So what does that mean? Kasi ngayon, sa age ngayon, pag nag-search ka ng specific product, let's say, ball pen, yung internet matitrace niya yung sinearch mo na ball pen. So, after a few days, kung mapapansin mo, puro ball pen na yung feed mo. Bakit? Kasi nag-search ka ng ball pen. Pag mas maraming nagbebenta ng ball pen, mas marami kang kalaban. So, that's what I mean about competitive environment. So, what you should do or what you should target yung kakaiba. Yung tipong medyo wala pa sa space or kung meron man, konti pa lang kayo. What you should do is make a list of mga categories na gusto mong ibenta or mga target mong ibenta and then browse through your social media sites. Kung hindi siya masyadong nakikita, considerable na pwede mo siyang ibenta. So, I'll give you an example of a niche. So, example, uh, clothes. Kung ibibenta mo lahat ang klase ng clothes, masyadong malawak. But it's okay if you want to. Wala naman titigil sa'yo. Pero if you want to really target an audience, what you do is clothes. Ano bang gusto mong i-target sa clothes nun? Kunyari, uh, sportswear. So, ang target mo lang mga sports people. And if you want to be really specific sa niche mo, um, let's say sports people, mga runners lang. So, all of your clothes will be for runners only. Parang ganon. So, find your niche. That's number one. Second thing that you must do is find a community or group na plano mong bentahan ang product mo. How do you do this? Maraming Facebook groups dyan, maraming pages na pwede mong itest yung market. You can try to ask people, um, what do you think about this? How do you find this product? If someone sold it, or or you can ask them, ano bang current problem na gusto nyong isolve na wala pang nangyayari, di ba? So, find a group. This group will also be supporting you throughout your journey um, sa business mo. And of course, they will more likely to share because syempre pag narinig mo yung suggestion nila or yung request nila, Pag na-solve mo yung problems nila, they will more likely to spread around the world. So, uh, mas maganda actually yon libre pa yung advertisement mo, di ba? Number three is be unique. 
um, of course, hindi natin may iwasan na yung iba mas prefer nila na maging general store na lahat ng casting products nandun. It's okay, I'm not really stopping you. It's actually a good start. What you do after you try or uh, test kung paano ba yung system with a general store, you upgrade into a niche store para din mas cheaper on your marketing end. Mas focus ka sa products na gusto mong i-deliver. Of course, customers' wants and needs are always top priority. So, kapag masyadong general yung store mo, masyado kang maraming problems na sinasolve. So, medyo magulo yun. Fourth step is find your platform which where you will sell. So, for this actually, yung step-by-step -step guide ng platforms na to will be discussed on a different video. There will be links at the bottom and maybe here. So, ask. There are three platforms where you can sell your products. The first is the common, which is Facebook. Um, you can either do a Facebook page or personal account. It's your choice really. Kung personal account, di na po ako magagawa ng tutorial para doon. Pero for the Facebook page, creation of the Facebook page and Instagram page will be in one video. So watch out for that. The second one is actually Instagram selling, which for me is better. Well, they have both their pros and cons. Later on, I will discuss to you how it works. And then, the third one, which will be the website. You can create your website for just a minimal fee. You can do it yourself. And I'll teach you how in the future video, which will be linked both up here and down here. Okay? So, see the link in the description. I'll just add it in the future. There are three platforms again. So, Facebook, Instagram, and website so choose your platform i actually have three for my shop so wedding instagram facebook lang if you're if you don't have a budget but if syempre paminsan kailangan natin maging professional looking para magmukha talaga tayong legit so that's when you create a website it will be minimal cost only i'll teach you step by step on how to do that later on fifth step do your research on your niche. What do I mean by this? Pag nakuha na natin yung specific target natin, kailangan natin mag-research kung alin dun sa mga products na yun yung bibenta. You only have to find one or two winning products. And pag nakuha mo yung winning products na yun, I promise you, kahit dalawang products na yan, magbuboom ka na. Basta ikaw yung pinakauna, or isa sa mga pinakauna, or isa sa mga pinaka affordable or pinaka magaling mag market ng product na yon. So, how do we find these products? There are actually a lot of websites kung saan ka pwedeng maghanap ng mga product. One is Google Trends. First, you go to Google Trends, the I'll show you right now. Okay. So, ayan makikita mo na ano bang laging sinesearch ng mga tao. So, let's click uh, Philippines. And then, let's say I'm looking for bags. Makikita mo yung trend ng bags over the past few years. And kung saan lagi sinasearch yun. So, 100. Yan. Funny pack. Ito ang related increase. Parkland bags. Sequoia bags. MK bags, yan yung mga laging sinasearch ng mga tao. Pwede mo din i-adjust yung date. So, past, let's say, uh, 90 days. Yan. So, pataas siya. Maba. Tumas ulit. Yan. So, let's try to be specific. Um, yung nakita natin kanina Parkland Bags So makikita mo Medyo kunti lang pala uh, Ah Kasi naka 90 days tayo Okay so let's say past 30 days Kung gano'n siya karami sinasearch 
Yeah, so 100 searches. Wala, wala, wala. Okay. Next is uh, Teave.co. Isa din to sa mga websites na lagi kong ginagamit. So, maganda to mag-browse-browse ka ng mga items na feeling mo papatok and interesting. For me, I only choose yung mga interesting mga, na mga bagay. Pero you can see here yung mga trending, mga latest. Yan. So, kita mo. Audio voice recorder. Itong si Tivdat ko kasi parang kinu-curate niya na lahat ng mga interesting na mga bagay na feeling nila na bibenta. So, ayan. Nagpapakita naman sila ng mga samples. So, almost lahat makikita mo from clothes to technology to home decor. Ayan. Tingnan natin. Trending. So, ito yung mga laging kiniklik or nilalike ng mga tao. So, most probably meaning maganda siyang ibenta. But again, you have to find the right supplier that will give you the best price. This is really more of a website para ma-inspire ka kung ano yung mga dapat mong hanapin. Or kung gusto mo, yun na mismo yung hanapin mo sa mga suppliers mo. Another one is ecomhunt.com So, ito siya. You have to sign in or you have to register kasi ganyan lang yung makikita mo. But if you log in naman or you register, free lang naman siya. As you can see, if you're gonna stick with the free option, meron ka lang makikita ng mga locked products. So, ito yung mga special products nila siguro. Pero, I'm good with actually the free one. Uh, marami ka na rin makikita dito na mga kakaibang mga products. Ayan, mga... Uh, Buckle free elastic invisible belt. Dream catcher LED light. Hmm, interesting. Here's a pro tip. Um, ang usually ko lang pinipili at binibili for me to sell are actually the products na gusto ko din. Kasi parang, di ba? Kung mamimili ka ng products na feeling mo bibenta, pero ikaw mismo hindi mo, hindi mo gustong bilhin, don't try it. Okay, so another one in the list is AliExpress. AliExpress is parang mahal na version ni Alibaba. Why? It's because ito yung mga pa isa isa lang. Si Alibaba kasi is more of kung bibili ka ng in bulk. So ito pwede kang bumili in one piece, two piece, but this will be directly from China. So medyo may shipping fee and medyo may katagalan lang bago dumating dito sa Philippines. So dito you can actually pick ka sa categories nila kung anong feeling mong target mo ibenta. But if you can see flash deals or inspirations, you can try to search for let's say uh, bags. So makikita mo rin dito yung usually na sina search na mga tao. So most probably mabebenta din siya agad, di ba? So let's just try bags for women 2019. Let's see ano mag pop up. So ayan. Medyo dollars lang siya, pero kung nag-sign up ka and uh, switch to a Philippine uh, user, mag-change siya into Philippine Peso. So, I'll explain in another video how to find the best partners or best suppliers. Kasi may technique po tayo para makita natin ang best suppliers since medyo may kalayuan to at matagal dumating sa atin, di ba? So, I'll teach you later on kung paano ka mamimili ng perfect suppliers for your shop. Same yan sa eBay and Amazon. So, again, search ka lang ng inspirations on anong magandang ibenta. Actually, makikita mo from here pa lang kung gano'n na siya karami inu-order and kung ano yung ratings niya. So, I think this is good. Yeah, 19 orders. Ito 1000 orders. So ibig sabihin mabenta tong bag na to, ba? So it might be a hit kung wala pa siya dito sa Philippines, edi mas okay, ba? Later on, um, in another video, I'll teach you kung paano yung hack para mahanap yung itong mismong product at makuha siya ng mas mura at mas madali. So same lang yan sa Amazon and eBay. You'll just be looking for inspirations and number of orders and how good is the supplier. 
Okay, dahil nakapag-research ka na ng mga perfect products for your niche or your target market, it's now time for you to find the products that you want to sell. So again, from sa sinabi ko kanina, doon mo makakita yung perfect products for your store. So what you must consider, of course, is actually the size. The size should be not that big. Mahirap iship yon at hindi rin masyadong mabigat kasi lalo mas mahirap ipadala yon mas mahal. And based from experience, sobrang mahal po nila. Lalo na pag nagpadala ka ng malaki at mabigat na out of Metro Manila, kung taga Metro Manila ka, patay ka na po. <laughs> Stick to something light, um, something small, na kahit marami siyang i-order, kaya pa rin, kasha pa rin sa Meron kasi ang mga couriers na mga plastic bags. So kung kasha dun sa plastic na yun, at least makakamura ka. So wag din po fragile yung madaling mabasag. Kung hindi maiwasan na fragile talaga, kailangan mo po ng malupit na malupit na packaging, na bubble wrap, and airbags or whatever. In deciding the products you want to sell, which of course will be our next step, which is sourcing yung products. I will first explain to you there are two types of sourcing your products. So you can decide whether you want to be a drop shipper or if you want to stock your products sa bahay mo and then ikaw mismo mag ship. There are pros and cons for this. So kung gusto mong stock sa bahay mo yung mga products, this will be a lot heavy on the pocket kasi kailangan marami ka mag-order para sulit yung shipping fee and syempre mas mura pag in-bulk, diba? Yun yung struggle lang nun. Pero at least kontrolado mo yung packaging and yung product kung maganda ba yung quality bago mo i-deliver sa client mo. The next option is to become a dropshipper. What is dropshipping? Ito yung nakakita ako ng supplier na willing na mag-order ako sa kanya, ibibigay ko yung details ng client ko and yung order, and babayaran ko siya, and then si supplier, siya yung magdederecho ng i-ship yung product sa buyer mo. So, meaning, wala kang gagastos in the stocks, bayaran mo lang siya. Pag binayaran ka na ni client, babayaran mo siya, siya na mag-ship sa buyer mo with your name. Yun po yung drop shipping. So, wala kang stocks, si seller mag-ship sa buyer mo, ang gagawin mo lang, magiging third person ka lang. Ang pros nun, hindi siya masyadong magastos kung wala ka masyadong budget. Maganda siya and hindi mo kailangan mag-inventory. Ang downside is hindi mo kontrolado yung quality. But then again, pwede mong pag-usapan yung with the supplier na, oh, but pangit yung binigay mo? Yung client ko naghahanap ng refund or kapalit. Can you do something about it? Again, it's a talk between your supplier. So, ayun. Yun yung pros and cons na dropshipping and storing your products sa bahay or warehouse mo. There are a lot of ways kung paano ka makakapag-source ng product and may mga hacks and may mga techniques ako kung paano kayo makakahanap ng pinakamurang supplier at the best quality. So, I'll be linking another video about that. Um, I'll make a video soon. Medyo mahaba kasi yung explanation. Hindi po siya kaya sa video na to. Baka maging boring on your end. Next step is your customer service. Customer service is very, very important sa online shopping. Siyempre, ang kalaban mo sa online shopping will be Lazada, will be Shopee, and every other site. Kapag yun ang kalaban mo, siyempre, hindi mo maiwasan na mas trusted sila. So, what you would do is provide a top-notch customer service na tipong bakit ka pipiliin ni customer kesa sa Shopee at Lazada, di ba? Bakit nga ba kayo mas pipiliin ng customer kesa sa mga big-time uh, website is kailangan maganda ang customer service mo. So, faster response time, mara-resolve mo agad yung problems nila kasi as you can see, Shopee and Lazada parang antagal nila mag-resolve ng problem, di ba? May mga ilan days pa bago kanila babalikan. So, what you do is you provide excellent customer service na matatalbogan mo yung mga top websites na alam ng mga tao. The last one on how to build your own website or your online shop is marketing. This 
is key. Based on experience kung walang marketing, patay po ang store ko. So, what do I mean about marketing? This is Facebook ads. Hindi masyado Google ads, pero pwede mong itry if you want. Facebook and Instagram promotions. Um, limited time offer, free shipping offer, lahat ng pwede mong isipin na marketing yun yun. So last one, marketing. Again, I'll link up a video about Facebook Ads Tutorial 101. Um, yung ibang mga tao nagpapabayad para dito but I think it's for everyone to know. So next time, ituturo ko pa sa inyo how to do Facebook marketing. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and your doorbell sign para ma-update kayo kung lumabas na yung video na yan, okay? I'll be doing that for free. So, here's another tip for you before you start your own online shop or business. Um, always be aware of the trend or possible trend. Using the websites na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, kailangan lagi kayong updated sa mga bagong mga products para lagi kayo nung una kesa sa mga competitors nyo. Number two tip is keep on researching. Don't stop researching. Hanap na hanap ng mga gandang products hanggang sa mapagod kayo bago kayo matulog, maghanap na kayo ng products nyo. Tip number three is learn by doing. Kahit na mag-research ka ng mga how-to, how-to dyan, kung hindi mo gagawin, hindi mo matutunan yan. Mas maganda talaga pag nasimulan mo na siya and learn from there. Okay? So, I advise you to just do it. Sabi nga ni Nike, um, just do it and start learning. The more you fail, to start much better para later on mapaperfect mo na siya so fail as much as you can and learn from that failure that's it so that's my steps on how you can create your own online shop so i hope you take time to do the first four steps it's really really helpful if you want to create your general store i'm not stopping you it's a good start anyway so if you have any other questions Please let me know down in the comments below. Baka may na-miss out ako. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.